Welsh Water have been at work today giving an identity back to a village that was flooded more than 30 years ago to form a reservoir. The inhabitants of Capel Killen near Bala had to give up their homes, their chapel, their school and their shop and the name of Truerin and its water supply to Liverpool became a symbol of protest that's still heartfelt by some today. But the summer's drought has revealed the old village again and turned it into a visitor attraction. So much so that a local councillor and chaired bard, Elwyn Edwards, has made a plea for commemorative plaques to be put up. Sixteen plaques have been laid down to show the features of the village that was once Capil Kellin. And it's the interest prompted by this year's low water level has led to this gesture of goodwill. Some parts, like the cemetery in the chapel, still have remains where the visitor can imagine what used to be. But other areas, like the local school, are merely gone but not forgotten to local people. Welsh Water neither flooded this valley nor had an obligation to accede to the request. We weren't really at all because the actual scheme here at uh, Caffel Kellin, uh, Welsh Water was not even in being when that occurred. But nevertheless, when uh, the chairman of Welsh Water, John Oliver Jones, received the letter from Councillor Edwards, he felt uh, that it would be something uh, that would maybe correct an omission that occurred years ago. Nothing was recognised here at all. Uh, and so that's. He, he requested that this go ahead. The flooding of Truerin to form what is now Llyn Kellin still remains an emotive subject, and some would rather things be left alone. But the man who made the request to Welsh Water thinks the features now visible again should be remembered and commemorated. People that were born here have been walking along the old road here all summer, and um, a lot of them didn't know where the old houses were, you know, their relatives. Well, what's it meant to you personally to see this village coming back again after all these years? Well, it opens all once, of course, it does, but um, facts are facts and uh, made the best of them, I think. Of course, the irony of this is that you, you're putting these plaques down today. You may wait a long time again for them to, uh, to reappear. This is appreciated and really, obviously, from the, the company's um, side, we hope this doesn't really occur again. But if it should, at least there is something here as a memory and for people to see where the places were.